Hey up YouTube, we're back again. I know I said there probably wasn't going to be another fishing video. But I couldn't resist. An overcast day, it was actually forecast to be a horrible day today. It was forecast to be rainy and horrible all day. Um, so yesterday, I messaged Kurt, said, you fancy trying down at the bench again? See what it's like? And he said, yeah. So, Kurt's just bringing in now. I don't know if he's, if he's had something. Let's have a look. Give me a sec. But we're back at the bench. It's a grey overcast day. We've got a 6-7 tide. At seven, uh, uh, highs at five past seven. Uh, we've got a, we've got a southeast. What will it be? That's north east. Yeah, we've got a southerly wind. It's blowing straight at us. Um, so casting's a little difficult, and that's not forecast to change. It's forecast to be like that all afternoon. So, you know, we're just going to persevere with it. So I'll roll the credits. I'll show you at state at sea. And then I probably, unless something happens, either Kurt catches or I catch, <laughs> um, I probably won't turn back on until we're at closer to high tide and we're back there because it's a little difficult to watch the sea because it comes in pretty fast. I'm just watching Kurt to see whether or not he's got, I think he might have a fish. But uh, we're just watching for weed. There's already weed on my line. So I'm hoping it's not another washout for, for plant life. He's definitely having an argument with Summer. I'll roll credits and we'll see what he's got. I'll let you know if he's got anything after that. Oh, never mind. He's got weed. A lot of it. Oh, I hope it's not going to be another day like that. I really do. I really, really do. But I'm not using any live bait, so, you know, what we do. What happens is what happens. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's bring this in and see what it's got. Probably a load of weed. <laughs> Just getting some stick for not bringing in a load of seaweed. <laughs> oh, rig I'm using today is and the rig I plan to, to use the most of this session I don't know whether to resend that actually nah I'll get it changed I've got some fresh bait here oh, the rig I'm using for most of today's session is <laughs> Oh, what's it called? Pulley dropper. Clip down pulley dropper, that's it. Oh, I should have got another lead as well, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Um, it's meant to... It, the, the, the rig is... I hate to use this word, but it's designed for long, sloping, sandy beaches where you need to get a little bit of distance to your cast and then for when you're targeting species that are not particularly small now 
I am very much today, at the least at the moment, sort of doing the go big or go home. Uh, I want a hound or a or a doggy. Uh, sea's a little rough for them, but doesn't stop me wanting one. And uh, we'll see, we'll see. But that's that's the rig, that's the purpose behind the rig today. Is it's uh, it's a distance casting clip down for largish baits. I got the uh, the design from Fishlocker John. Well, from his channel. So do go check out his channel, please. Uh, it's just called the Fish Locker. Poss I think it's possibly the biggest. Uh, fishing channel on YouTube. Oops. Or big, biggest British fishing sea channel. I think. Possibly. I don't. You're just going to be like that, aren't you? you you're just going to be like that. Let's try it this way. I'm not. I'm still. <laughs> I'm learning how to use it, so it's. And it's it's quite fiddly to uh, it's quite fiddly to get ready. I may well end up just using a pulley panel, just because of how fiddly this one is. But we'll send this out. Back. We'll send this out. Still learning how to use the cannon. Uh, it's still a technique that I. I'm far from mastering, um, but it seems like a good piece of kit. It's still on the rod. If I didn't think it wasn't a good piece of kit, I probably would have removed it. It's just getting used to it. Uh, and I haven't got a back garden where I've got enough space to, to sit and dummy cast. So the only practice I get is on the beach. That casted a lot better. A lot happier with that one. Just fishing one rod for now, because the tide's still coming in fairly rapidly, because it's being blown at us. So we're just fishing one rod for now. I'll probably get the second rod out in a little bit. But let's have a look at the sea state. See what you see, what you guys think. We'll do a pan round. So same as what you saw the other day, but this one's more for state at sea. You see, there's, there's a fair bit of movement out there, which, from what I understand, hounds and doggies don't like. So it might be, you know, with a bit, a bit, with the fingers crossed, there might be a bass on the cards. We'll have to see. I do have some squid. I have brought a couple of mackerel with me as well, so I might send some fish baits out a bit close to high tide. But uh, it's coming in quite quickly. And then I'll try, before I go home, I'll try and get a video of the, uh, of the bench or the pirate ship or whatever you want to call it back there. Uh, the trolley, let's, let's, let's get this bit talked about, shall we? The trolley, the one that I, was go that I, that I uh, showed you in the last video. The following day, the day following me showing you on the video, uh, angling direct change the picture uh, so I contacted them and said look what's what's happening what's the crack um, I've ordered it that's the one that I want you know if you're going to change it for the one that's on the picture I don't want it uh, and I could have I could have really gone to town with arguing with them but I, life's too short now um, so I didn't bother 
I just said, look, just refund me order or cancel order. And uh, I'll order the one that I want from somebody else. If you're saying you can't do it, then fair enough, so be it. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, so I, I, I've ended up with the Tronics Pro one. I've ended up with the Tronics Pro one, and um, today's its first outing. I'm still figuring out how to load it, how to pack it, um, but I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll strip this rig down, and I'll come back to you if there's all worth talking right. about. So I've been pushed all the way back, so we're just going to bring the, bring the rods in, rebate and recast. Oh, bloody hell. This may take me a minute. I've put my drag too loose when I pulled everything back, and the line's gone underneath. There we go. No, stop spinning. I end up catching them sail paddle borders, sail borders. Right, there we go. Once again, load of weed online. But just fella next to us uh, it looks like he's had a couple of bass maybe a flounder so they are out there but it's like I was just discussing with Blaine before we moved back um, not Blaine sorry Kurt um, I was discussing with Kurt before we moved back um, that uh, we kind of, we are limiting ourselves. We are sending out big baits. Uh, we are targeting larger fish. But I have now set up the Fury and I've just put, oh, it's no, oh no it is. And I've just put some smaller mackerel and squid baits on that to send out. See what happens with that. Just on the three up clip down that I've been using for a while now. So we'll get this sent out, get the other one cleaned up and back out. We'll get some proper baits made for it shortly. I just whipped up some, uh, just some mackerel and some squid. I'll not wind the drag all the way in, in case there is something big out there. Keep thinking rains here, but it's not. It's hot water coming off this weed and hitting me. The only problem with sort of complicated modular rigs is there's just so much more for the weed to catch onto. Actually, I can just take the hook length off this one. Or I should be able to just take the hook length off this one. Swap that over. They're roughly the same size. No, no, it is. No, it is. No. I was going to say it is raining, but it's not. It is just the weed that's above my head giving me a shower. What the hell, that's on there. There we go. Two rods out, so we'll set up some more bait. We'll make some more bait. Get them, but get the rigs ready. As so we're coming up, we how far away are we from high tide? We are an hour and a half away from high tide. So we want 
I want to be ready because that's when this fishes. According to locals, but like I say, we're fishing big baits because we're after big fish. Look, so it's a, it's a it's a whole squid. Uh, but of course, the benefit of this is it's relatively easy to have baits ready. Uh, Kurt's just saying to me is he's going to be changing roughly every 10 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to go that much. Oh, he's in, he's, he's in the fisherman's prone position. He's in the prone position. We'll keep an eye on. Master, sure he'll shout me. He'll shout me just to rub it in my face. <laughs> oh, it's got that. That's that's got to be weed, Dad. That's yeah. It's gone down. It's bent over and stayed bent over. Oh, I think Kurt's having a look. Fingers crossed for him. Well, they're not, but, you know, metaphorically speaking. This orange bit of elastic that I'm using today is far too thin. I really don't like it. Oh, it's gone again. And again, I won't mind, I'm not even putting any bloody pressure on it. I've got some more on me in my box. And I'm going to have to end up changing to a heavier one. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Looks like we might be lowing, mowing the uh, seabed today. It's firm enough. So guys, I got actually, oh, you know what, I did get a bit of, bit of backlash for this, but I'm going to do it again. If you've made it this far into the video, please do consider pressing that subscribe button. It does help, does help quite a lot. Leave a comment down below. I do always try and respond to the comments. Oh, for God's sake. 
these Cox and Raw hooks, they may be good, but for some reason, I'm just really struggling to get on with them. Really struggling to get them on, to sit on bait needles. I think my bait needle's probably actually too small. Oh, my hands are too slimy. But every time it's just coming out. So I'm just going to whip it on. I'll try it all. <sighs> I'm also going to make up some uh, some squid and mackie wraps. <clears throat> And I'll show it actually, we might as well, you might as well see me doing that. Not a lot going on with rod tips. There we go. Get this horrible bloody bait elastic back out again. Oh. Might have to get the bait mate out. We'll have to see how, how we manage. I'm not particularly dexterous. I'm a bit heavy handed. So stuff like this, for me, I really do need the bait mate. <laughs> But yeah, the squid really is just there to hold the uh, to hold the mackerel onto the hook a bit better. I mean, it will offer scent, etc. But in my it is my understanding that when you do something like this. It is mainly to just to firm the bait up a little bit. I'm going to get these baits ready and then I'm going to sit and have a chill for 10 minutes. And as always, We'll turn the camera on if something happens. I'm not, I've not really got a great deal to talk about today, so. Oh, better put me bag of fish away. There's a guy coming down with a dog that clearly has got very little control over it. It's only a pup like, but still. Oh, I wish I'd brought the bucket. Right, let's take my box off. Oh, well, can I? Nah, I'm not going to try and straddle it. So I've got both rigs out for... Oh, hello. <coughs> it was just weed, I think. Oh, it's heavy though. Yeah, big old clump of weed. Ah, it's 
heavy. <laughs> I'm going to have to go down and get that. That's the amount of weed we're battling. It's almost <laughs> heavy enough. I claim it as a fish. Tell you what, if I want giving up the allotment, it'll be going home for fertiliser, this wood. But like I say, this is the problem when you've got rigs with all these bits and pieces on. I'm so very tempted to just put a pulley panel on. Uh, I'm not going to rebate this, I am going to resend it. Oh, there's no bait on bot muck. I'll stick a piece of squid on it. Top two ain't touched, but there's no bait on bot muck. That's, uh, that's interesting. That's a bit, bit of mackerel here, we'll put a bit of mackerel on it. And wang this one back out. I'm not rebating, it's only been out five minutes. It's good enough excuse to get me coffee though, isn't it? Oh, this microphone wire's doing me head in. Come here. Oh, that's a good sign. And gulls are moving across. Tell you what, the sea's very warm. But what I'll do is I'll do my usual. Now that we're set up and we're settled, I'll uh, I'll put you on rods and I'll turn time lapse on, and I'm gonna have a cuppa. Uh, get you back on the rod tips there guys I'll try and sort it out in editing um, but hopefully you can see what I can see if you watch the furthest tip uh, the black and white tip I've just sat and I've had a cup of coffee and it's been bouncing like that the entire time sometimes harder than others it's probably just weed on the line look at that vibrating like mad but it's coming up to bait change time I've just had a cup of coffee it's certainly bait change time on the on the red rod oh that that that's is that what what is that doing that's got to be weed hasn't it it's got to be it's got to be as the surf is hitting some weed, that's why it's vibrating like mad. It can't that. Because that's what it was doing before I brought it in last time with a big clump of weed on it. The red rod, not so much as a sniff, but it's due a change. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to put a slither of mackerel and a, and a bit of squid on it. Well, not this time, because I've got a straight squid bait ready, but... Oh. On this change, after this change, when I'm getting my next set of hooks ready... Of course, it's not going to reel in, Russ. There we go. On my next change, I shall... Uh, I shall send out a little bit of mackerel just for that extra little bit of added scent inside a bit of squid. See, this is heavy, but it's pro once again, it's probably just a load of weed. The leads are holding bottom just fine, but then there will be, yeah, 
seat weed on it now. Although I can't see, oh yeah, I was going to say I can't see any squid on me hook, but it's there. It does seem to be just a case of casting over weed, to be honest. It seems to be the further out you go, the less of it there is. But, uh, yeah, there's not many more trips for me this side of, uh, of August. If there is any more at all, uh, we'll find out. Or I'll find out more on Tuesday. Uh, with regards to baby due date. But yeah, if you'd continue what you guys are doing with liking and sharing my videos, that'd be great, especially whilst I'm away because I won't have a chance to do much with regards to keeping an eye on YouTube because it's all go in it and then I'm going to go see a doctor about getting the uh, well let's not make all the fellas watching cringe eh because I'm sure you all know what, I'm, what I was going to say. Okay. I'm getting slightly more used to this, this rig. I do think I am going to end up switching over to a pulley. Just a standard pulley panel, because it, it is... Oh no, a bit of a pain in the arse. But since I'm not walking miles, let's get you turned around and you can see cast. So still practicing with this cannon. I still think it's a good bit of kit. I still think that I need to learn how to use it more. But that'll come with time. that one back out shall we see what's going on with that one shall we I think if it's not weed I think it's a crab let's have a look at it I can see weed on the line so that's what makes me skeptical just turn you around Just in case there is something on it, I don't think there is. Oh, come on. I think I'm pulling in the seabed here. Oh, it's cracked off.
cracked off. That was heavy, that was. I have to put a new shot leader on it because I think it went at the leader. Yeah. That was, I think that might have actually been my only small lead as well. I don't know. This beach has costed me a lot in fucking kit. I tell you. The only problem with this spool is it doesn't have a second, uh, I don't have a second spool for this reel. So I'm going to have to. Uh, Gonna have to salt it. Take the camera off and I'll see you in a bit. Well, there we go. Snapped off. Rigged it back up just with a, I've got no three up clip downs left, so I've just sent out a two up clip down, but they've got bigger hooks on. So I'm back to edging my bets towards bigger fish. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But so far, between Kurt and I, zero. I did honestly think about going back to wall today. Perhaps we should have done. Although I do prefer being on the beach. And the thing is, the further that way you go, the, the, the dirtier the fish, so I'm told. Because I mean the estuary, the, the docks, all that kind of thing, it all dirties the water. And I'm told it reflects in the taste of the fish. And as always, I'm always after something for the table. I'm very tempted to put a smooth lead on, a non-gripper lead, and just sling it out and let it rattle around. I've got a couple of flapper rigs, but that's not what I'm after. I would really like to expand my species captured and add a doggy or a smooth hound or both. I just think this, I think the sea's too rough for it today. Uh, and looking at the beach and looking seeing that the baits are coming back in untouched I would hazard a guess there's no crabs out there either which of course is is the primary food for for doggies and smooth hounds and if they ain't out there if the crabs ain't out there the fish ain't gonna come in are they? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a chill out because I'm still losing. Oh, Kurt's up and in the prone position. 
his rod's definitely knocking. What's he gonna do? I'm gonna give it a couple of winds. It's oh, bringing it in. He just looked at me then as if to say, Ross, there might be some. I don't think there is. Rod looks very light. Has he even got a lead on that? So now I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be another day of notebook weed. I've also got a feeling we're going to have to move a bit further back. With the, with the wind driving the tide in, I think it might come up a little bit higher. Don't know, we'll have to wait and see what time we're on. We are... Uh, we're 20 minutes away from high tide, so... Um, yeah. I mean, this is when this mark should be fishing. But so far, two trips, zero fish to this mark. I hope cod season's better for me. <laughs> My cod season, I think I'm going to start it early. I've said this a couple of times now. <laughs> the piece of weed looks like it's floating in the sky. But it's, it's just been blown up Kurt's line. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I'm going to start my cod season early. Uh, I might take some time off fishing in August with the new baby. Uh, August, September time, I might take some time off. I don't know, we'll see. I probably will still get a few fishing trips in, but it certainly won't be weekly like I have been doing. Yeah, we're going to have to move. I'm going to have to move. I'm definitely going to have to move. I'll see you in a sec. Righty-ho. Oh, yeah, my rods are in water now. They'll be fine for a couple of minutes. I don't know how long it's been since I've done this, so I apologise if it was like 30 seconds ago in the video. If you do enjoy my type of content, because it is... And as Vern over in Verd Sea Fishing was saying in his video the other day, we don't, him and a few others, we're not just showing catching. We're not, we're not just showing, you know, and, and he, he hit the nail on the head on Vern Sea Fishing Channel in his video the other day. You know, these guys that are, that are putting a video out a week where it's where they're just showing they're catching 10 20 fish you're either in an amazingly highly populated fish area or you know you're going out five or six times a week to show that footage well four or five times a week to, to get that footage together which you know fair play that's it's a different type of fishing video um, but I'm not about that. He's not about that. Shane over at uh, the Codfather. He's not about that. He shows realistic fishing trips. You know, all the nitty gritty, all the, the, the stuff where you crack off and you have to repair stuff and, you know, all the bits and pieces like that. That's fishing. That is fishing. Not the, here's a fish, here's a fish, here's, that's not fishing, that's catching. Um, so there's two channels I would like you to go check out um, I will, will this time try and remember to put links to their channels in the description below um, Shane's brand new please do go show him some support by going and checking out his channel he's just started 
please do go show him some support. We, uh, we, we sort of we sort of work together with regards to helping each other out. We advertise each other's videos on his own pages and things like that. So if you see his video or his logo on my page, please do click on it, go watch his video. His videos are great. Same with Vern's. We're all East Coast anglers and I think I think there's another lad to go out with that they call him Scottish videos. I'm not sure if that's hardcore fisherman. I don't know. I don't know if hardcore's down south. Vern mentions him a lot. Um, but I'm trying to sort of promote East Coast anglers. Whereas Shane and Vern are both East Coast anglers. Please do go show them the support. Please do go on over. They're both real fishermen. They're not just showing the glory side of fishing. All that being said, do go down below and press that red subscribe button if it's red. If it's grey, don't press it. Press the thumbs up. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of when I upload videos. Like I say, the, the uploads are going to slow down. Please don't unsubscribe. I've not packed in. I've just got a busy time coming. And do get involved in the conversation in the comments down below. I have a few dedicated commenters on every video and they are greatly appreciated. And we do have some conversations in the comments down below. Um, Alf, I've not forgotten about you, mate. This, this fishing trip was thrown together at last minute. I couldn't organise to come and get you. So I haven't forgotten about you. I promise you, I will take you out one day. Probably when we're going over up north to Sperm Point or something like that, I'll bring you along for that. But so that's going to be late August at the earliest. Any fishing trip, any fishing video you see from me in the coming weeks and months, or coming month or two, is going to be very spare at the moment. It's going to, it's going to be a case of, oh, I've got a few hours, let's get out. So you may find that I do a couple from the wall, just it's very easy to get there. And I can go, and I can do four hours, and I can be back. Um, packing up and everything like that's dead quick there's no long walks all that kind of thing so I'm gonna have another coffee and then I'm gonna think about changing my baits again no real movement I'll put the time lapse back on and uh, oh shit that was a knock Come on, go again. That looked like a bass bite, that did. Got a feeling I might have missed it. Oh, no, there it is. Well, it's either swimming straight at me, or it's taken me line off. I've got no idea what's going on here. I've got zero weight on the line. The shock leader's gone again. Wow. Okay, no idea what that was. But that's my second rig of this trip gone. Eh, hey, dear me. <sighs> this beach man, it's my curse. I'll put the time lapse on, I'll get it rigged up and back out.
So we're probably going to lose microphones before the end of the session. <coughs> but we've pissed, we, we passed, we just passed high tide, literally by about 10, 15 minutes. So we've got another hour or two of fishing. I don't know what just happened then. It's the knot, the, the rod, I mean, it hit like a bass. Uh, one good hard knock, uh, so, so I got up, went to the rod. Another good hard knock, reeled it in, and my shock, lead, my shock leader had snapped. I never even felt anything on the line. It was just light straight away. I suppose we can have a debate down in the comments below. What was it? Driftwood? Half a pound of, you know, 20 pound of weed? I'm on mono. I'm not on braid. I am sincerely thinking about switching the surf blaster to braid, though. I really am. It was made for braid, as far as I can understand. So I really am thinking about switching it over to braid. The Fury, for me, and I think um, Sean at the, uh, over on the Codfather, I think, and um, was it Shane? Were you saying as well? That the, um, the Fury is too light for braid. It shows too much. Go with you in a sec. Right, guys. I think we've discovered why the water's gone dead. I've no idea if I'm gonna be able to show this on camera. But uh, let me just stop it and I'll see if I can zoom in. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? See if it comes back up again. Yeah, I keep missing it, guys, I'm sorry, but there is a big seal out there. He is massive. And the camera won't do it justice. Um, but that, I think, that might have been what snapped my last line. So I say the, the rod nearly doubled over and it's right in front of the lines. No, it's not showing its head up now. There it is. I'll try and zoom it in post. I'll try. I'm not too sure how, it'll, how good it'll come out. Have you seen this? The seal. I'll turn the camera off, guys. <laughs> so I think we've identified where all the fish have gone. <laughs> I mean, like I say, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but that was a big bugger. That, that really was a big bugger. Um, it seems to be going that way, but damage will be done now. Uh, my rod just shook. But I reckon it had swum through my line. I think that's what I think that's what snapped my last shock leader off. I think it's it, I don't think it went for me bait, I think it just swam through line. But we'll 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 see. We'll see. Hopefully the fishing will recover. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's lovely to see. But you know full well it's, it's, oh, it's all the fish are gone now. Because it's either eaten them or scared them off. But the tide goes out quite rapidly, as I say, I'm not sure. Not too sure how much more fishing time we're going to get. Because it's a, it's a very long, shallow beach. I'm just trying to see if I can see that seal again. To see if it comes back this way. Um, but it's a very long, shallow beach, so... Once you're on the ebb, you, you don't have that much time. You can, by all means, follow it back out, but... It's that shallow, unless you're using a scratch, scratching rig. If you're after something like we are, something a bit bigger, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But uh, they've not caught up down there since since early, since I think a good half hour, an hour ago. I've not seen him bring anything in. Um, uh, but uh, and Kurt's. I think you might have seen a couple of bites, but we, you just don't know whether they were bites or... Uh... Oh, I think I've just seen it in water right in front of mine. Yep, there it is. I 
I think I just saw the seal right in front of my line. Oh no, we've got a fish. Fish on! Whoa. Oh, it's a nice size. It's a nice size bass. It'll be fine. Oh three, God. That's bigger than scale. Oh. Bigger than scale. It's all right guys, it's straight down at box. Shut up. Calm yourself down. So we are a good 46 inch bass there. 46 centimetre bass. Get a snap of that one. Calm down. It'll all be over shortly. I don't know. Are you a yet, Kurt? Keeper, yeah, it's 46 centimetre. Keeper then, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll knock this off and we'll, uh, well, it's not a blank. And as you will have heard, I'm not purely catch and release. That was well above legal size. That is going home for my dinner. I'll clean it up before I go, because it's always better if you can, if you can bleed them here. But the seal is literally staring at me. I think he's pissed. I think I've had his dinner. He's literally up and down this beach. I'll see if I can show you him now. Oh, let me see if I can get him on camera. It's a big seal, big, big seal. Where is he? I ain't got the right sort of camera to be a wildlife photographer. Little GoPro's not made for this. I'll leave you on to see, and if he shows his head again, because he's really close in now, I'm going to have to bring in my other line, because I'm going to risk, I'm going to risk either losing more gear well, or hurting the seal. And I don't want to do that. So let me just bring in the other line. Or is it too little, too light? Let's, uh, let's see. So I'm just going to bring these lines in and I'm just going to do a nice slow bait up uh, and hopefully Mr. Seal by, uh, oh, will do one. But that bass was perfectly hooked, perfectly hooked. Yeah, it's still out in front of me keep just seeing just little splashes from it so I'm just going to go down and see I'm going to leave these in for five minutes and I'm just going to go down and see the guys down the other end I'm going to shut everything off because I need to conserve batteries so I'll see you in a bit guys I'm just going to leave my reels leave my lines in for five minutes so we've probably got about an hour's worth of fish an hour's worth of fishable sea left um, I've got a feeling Mr. Seal did me a favour and drove some fish in. But I tell you what, it didn't half sit and stare at me for 10 minutes. It was not happy. It was not happy. I think I had its dinner. Um, yeah, we've probably only got half an hour, an hour's worth of fishable sea left. Which is fine, because I've probably only got about an hour's worth of bait left. Oh, I'm rattling again. That'll be seaweed, that will. Might not be. I've dropped down to one. I'm just letting that develop. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'm going to have to watch my rod while I talk. That must be seaweed. Um, I've dropped down to one rod. Oh, that's right. We're going to have to have a look at this in a sec. I'll put you on rod. I'll put you on rod so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so I've dropped down to one rod.
come on, take it. Um, just because you're going to have to, now the sea's on its way out, we're going to have to um, recast every five, ten minutes and two rods just makes that very difficult. I'm not blanking, which is good. I've caught some dinner. I'm not going to be shy about it, guys. That is going to be my dinner. Come on, take it. Stop playing with it and take it. I don't know if it'll be showing up on camera. It's probably weed. It probably is weed. We might have to bring it in just to take the weed off before it builds up too much. Um, yes, yeah, so it just gets too much. Oh. To manage for me at least anyway I'm inexperienced as you know it just takes, it gets too much to manage the rods so I've dropped back down to one rod I'm back to only using big baits anyway let's bring this in and see I bet it's just weed You all right? I don't think so, I think it's just weed. I'm going to lose another weight here, aren't I? I'm going to crack off again here. Oh no, there we go, it's come out. Oh fuck. I've got about 20 pound worth of weed on this. This isn't a fish. There's no movement in it. It's just dead weight. Oh. It's off to your right, there it is. I've not even got leader on here. <laughs> told you about 20, that's all right now, I've got shot leader on. Oh, I told you about 20 pound of weed, didn't I? Jesus, that's heavy. You are? Uh, no, I haven't actually. I've been a bit lazy. Pain in the ass. Well, I think we've only got probably another half hour of fishable tide. Yeah. So, yeah. I was talking actually to one at locals again. And apparently this beach never used to have a problem with weed. It's, it's come about this year, so... Probably something to do with construction that's out at sea of the offshore wind farm. Okay, it's just dead same, just a butt ton of weed. So it's, it's, it certainly does make it less enjoyable. But, you know, it's, it's also kind of more enjoyable. Because at the end of the day, this is what it's about, isn't it? It's sort of man v nature, the untamed wilds of <laughs> the East Coast. Fucking hell. What am I on about? What am I on about? <sighs> so, yeah. Dear me. I'm running out of stuff to say, I uh, I've got to say, these Cox and Roll hooks are very good. Oh, there goes my mackerel. Right into a big ass lump of sea foam. This orange 
note to future self this orange Innova elastic don't buy any more of it the innovator bait dispenser that I got it with it came with three colours and I think it was the yellow one that I used first We're gonna maybe another half hour. Do you use rugs? Do I use them? Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh god, there's some weight in there. Thank you. Yeah, we've got half a pound. We? Are you packing it in? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're only gonna get another half hour in. It's out, dropping yeah. cold, though, isn't it? It is, and it goes out fast. So I'm into the shower yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think to be honest, I think that seal did me a bit of a favour. I think it probably brought them in, but it's still out there. I'm oh, yeah, sure I keep seeing it. There, I'm sure I keep. I'm sure I keep seeing it out there. I've not seen it. It's going to be it for me today. It's been a good session. I had a good fish. I'm gonna get packed up, get off home, and get myself some dinner. Let's bring this rod in. I'll time lapse my pack down. I'll put the camera at the back and I'll time lapse it. I'm not gonna to get to show you pirate ship because there's a lot of kids playing on it. Pirate ship, bench, whatever you wanna call it. We will get to do that one day. Yeah.